Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, say you'll be mine, Miss Scarlet. Why dance with him, Miss Scarlet, when you can dance with me? Fiddle dee dee, I got my heart set on eating barbecue today. My, my, who is that attractive, distinguished young man over there? I hear that's Captain Butler's table. He's the biggest and bestest refinisher in all Atlanta. Don't you pay him no never mind, Miss Scarlet. Say you'll be mine. I tell you what, boys. I dance with the first one of y'all that brings me another mess of ribs. That'd be me, Miss Scarlet. How do six or eight peach cobbler sound, Miss Scarlet? That sounds mighty fine. Y'all shake a leg now. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, after you. No, no, oh, I no, am no, I... oh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jack D. Ripper. And I'm uh, Henry V, part one. <laughs> Welcome and... to Furniture to Go, or in this case, Lamps. Silence of the Lamps. <laughs> Very good. Oh, it's a lamp show, and you're in for a real treat, because we're in the classic lighting emporium on 2nd Street in Philadelphia. And we're going to meet the proprietor, Frank Fasone, who's on his way right now. Frank, Frank Char, how you doing? How you doing? Nice to meet you. Right. Right. How you doing? Now you just can't leave. Well, uh, Frank, uh, you want to tell us about some of these lights? Well, let's start with this one here. This is a uh, cast iron, uh, came off the steps of the Club Revival on 3rd Street. My uncle used to lean on these on the way yeah, home. the turn of the room. century, a real classic. I a statue of him on my home bar. The big red nose. So you do a lot of salvage work, right? Yes, we do, yeah. See? People get rid of stuff, smart guys come, and they get it. So you can actually refurbish, you find something that looks like a piece of junk, clean That's it up, true, put right? new Restore parts the whole onto piece, it. And Frank's got new this whole, wiring. He's got a whole uh, warehouse upstairs filled with lamps and shades and brass fittings and all Here that. Here we have a hanging That's one, a, right? This is a hanging lamp? Yeah, now this is uh, bronze. This came out of uh, Chestnut Hill. Oh, where the rich people live. So these oh, would yeah. be the hangers. That's a beautiful, like it's a me. classic piece. Probably hung over to the entrance. Oh, lamp. I broke it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Now, here's a, here's a set of now four. Now, these four we just got from Princeton, New Jersey. Wow, those are the nice. The secret to these is to keep them dirty. Yeah. The hottest selling item right now is rusted cast iron. Yeah, you don't want to take a, a wire wheel to them and no, start cleaning them. No, not at all. Them. You no. want to leave them just yeah. as they are. Just rewire them and leave them just like that. They're pretty. What do they go for, one of those? These are $750 each. <laughs> oh, God bless you. Not bad. Not, not bad. bad. Could you wrap up four of them for us? Yeah, please. We could. <laughs> Give me <Same>. 12. <laughs> Now, here you've got a, a nice array of figurative lamps. Yes, now, right? these are all uh, door post lamps. Door post is the, the big post at the bottom at of the, the stairway. At the bottom, on the banister. Yeah, yeah the banister. right. So they these, all usually lit up. These ladies, this lady, who's she over here? That's a Minerva. Yeah. Minerva. Yeah, South Philly and Minerva. <laughs> oh, I knew her. She did floors, didn't she? I could see <laughs> by the long nails. Yeah. And over next to her, who's that, Tom Waits? Looks like Tom Waits. Oh, Mother yeah. Teresa, these jugs are heavy. <laughs> That's our water boy lamp. <laughs> Over here, this guy, that lady saying, watch it with that Lance. It's Don Quixote, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. And That's it. Is, they uh, got Lance next to the They're all in Victorian around the turn of the century. And it's a nice dragon lamp there. And oh, here, yeah, all bronze. This is a beautiful piece. Painted That's on a glass. reverse painting on glass, uh, so, mano lamp. So when you light it up, you'll, you'll see the scene. Well, you know, we want to go and we're going to look at some other lamps, some pole lamps we'd like to work on in the show. So Real good. I think uh, you got a big selection. Frank not only Real has good. lamps that you could buy and just plug in, he actually has a section where you can make your own lamp, put it together, and then take it home. So we're going to go shopping. Let's go right? shopping. Okay. Okay. in a workshop with our buffet and Andy, and he's going to sh show us how this concept works. This is some of the stuff we picked out. You got some nice parts here. This looks like Jules Verne right here. This is a wall sconce, right? Yeah. 
Look at that, it's real pretty. You put that, uh, the alligator clips on the, on the fitting. Put that right over the socket. All disparate parts, yet. Look at that. And when the you plug right the in. bulbs in, or. South Philly, light bulbs. I put the light bulb in. <laughs> the light bulb blue. And then I'll plug it in, look. Plug it in there, Chief. Ready? Oh, everyone ready? Beautiful. Beautiful. And we're gonna be following the same kind of concept with all the parts that we got. What well, Frankie really is, the king of lamps, yeah, huh? Yeah, we gotta change hey guys, our clothes. Thanks, Frank, thanks. thank you. All right. Thanks all a lot, right. appreciate thanks it. Take it easy. Thanks okay. a lot, man. We'll see you. All right. Hey, juice pay for this? What? What's no. this? Honest to God, Frank. We Honest to God. We were... Come on. Oh, come on. Uh, what the hell are you saying? Funny face. Nah, Myrna Loy, the good earth. I got some work in the field to do. Oi. Brown rice, can I have brown rice, please? Did you ever see so many bloody lamps? Let's not talk about bloody That's lamps. Nice. Look, we've got a lot of elements for our table lamp and our shade. Like the Thank You Academy. All the kinds of stuff. This is a nice oh, lamp, man. and it's only poplar, you know. Whoa, round the maypole. And it smells like... Teen spirit. Smells like the 30s. I'm gonna clean this down. What do you clean it down with? You clean it down with the same stuff we use all the time. You know what that is. What is it? What is it? What is it? NAFTA. NAFTA. Uh, not NAFTA. A lot of people write letters N-A-F-T-A. No, it's NAFTA, see? M-A-P-T-H-A. -A. And to create a new lamp, all you have to do, well, you have to pull these little things up. See what these are? I don't know what they're called, but you have to pull them up, and then you can squeeze that's the, called harp. the harp. Oh, this yeah. is the harp, but what are these called? Those are called uh, little round circles. Yeah, okay, things. I figured you, you knew. Lock, lock elements. And then lock elements. And then you just start to unscrew this part and start to yank out It's like these the little guts. lines over here. What are they called? Flingmings. Look, we have a central shaft, as many of us do, and then we just start to pull off all our accoutrements. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm still mm -hmm. doing this here. Now, I'm going to marbleize just certain elements of this. And we want to sand the piece. I'm going to marbleize this center here. And when you take out the, uh, the guts and the wire, you got to do something about this, because this will never fit up there. So what I do is I take this knife here, and I go like Boy, that. Well, these things are really getting on my nerves. And next, Joe's going to have to prime while I begin to well, see, I connect got this all. my elements in an artistic way on this little baby lamp. Sand it and prime. Look at this. A nice primer. Dry real fast. That's a quick prime. You've turned me out night after night, but not anymore. I won't be denied tonight. I won't. I, I won't. I, I can't. I can't. Oh, hi. You caught me. I'm marbleizing again. I'm stuck on it. I can't help it. People write letters and say, you're going to do marbleizing again. Well, we got a lamp, and it's got a lot of nice elements in it. You can see I'm going to do this piece, and this piece, and the base, and the top. It's going to look pretty, and I'm doing like an old yellow marble that's kind of got that... I love that movie. I cried at that old movie. Old Yeller was a sad movie. When that dog marbleized, everybody cried. You saw the wrong one. Uh, now I got this color on, you see? This is Keller. a... It's, uh, these are Japan colors, and I mixed some white and some yellow ochre, which is this color here. I got some of this red, and we'll work those in at some point. But right now, I'm putting this yellow that I mixed, and I'm going to take some of the Japan color here, which is a French yellow ochre, and we're just going to put some of this on willy-nilly, just like that. And then we take the blender brush right here. This is a badger brush. It's an expensive brush, and I'm just going to blend. I got naphtha in that container. And you can see when you go around, it makes a nice, smooth, beautiful finish. And the naphtha softens everything. It softens the paint. You can see it splashing up in the air. Doesn't that look pretty? Now if we take this again, go up here. Watch. Watch again. Now, this is the base foundation. Once you get this color, then you lay in the veins and all the other markings. Hey, I'm, Ed. I'm done already. Hey, that looks beautiful. This is my lamp. Hey, does everybody a, like that one? Does that come with a pipe? Uh, all right, all right. All right, I've got two exploded lamps and a lot of extra 
elements. Houston to Lem, Houston to Lem. I like that movie. Okay, I'm gonna try a few things. Now if I'm gonna put one of these big glass balls down, I need one of these to catch and hold the orb. The orb. Exeter. It's, no, it, this is Absorbitron. Let's see. Now this. The rich, everything's made of crystal. Everything. Hmm. Nah, see, I don't want clear with clear. And besides, I've got a, uh, a shade over here that's got some red elements. So, well, I can't put glass next to glass. I've got to put some brass to sort of make it a buffer. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, how about this? And now... We go there. How about that? Oh. Uh, all right, all right. I keep going. I keep going. How about a red thing to catch this? Red thing always works. And whew, whew, Belle Watling. This is hers. All right. Okay. All right. I got to keep working. I, 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 I got I to gotta get in touch with the muse. Joe? I'm marbleizing still. I have all the brushes here. I need a brush holder. That's what Ed said. You need a holster. I need somebody to hold these brushes. You get all your colors on. Now I put on the new color, which is white, because... The mighty white. Can you believe how much of this I got done? It's actually a process that you have to go around the, the pole, and you got to use the badger brush. It's a blender. And you use the naphtha. The naphtha is what blends everything together. And make sure you're doing this with a place where you got no rugs. Can you see how nice it looks? I think it looks nice, huh? We go down here. We go down here. Hey, hey, here we go. Look at this. The base naphtha. Ah, uh, mmm. Jade Silverheels, marbleizing. Tonto, mar Tonto, you go to town and marbleize. Mmm. And you want to make it so it looks nice and fuzzy. Look at that. And then afterwards, we'll do some veining in it using thin brushes, put some highlights in it. But the most important thing is to get your foundation down. Because if you don't have a good foundation, <laughs> you're going to turn out bad. So my Just like always, we did. My father always used to say that. You're going to go to the reform school where I majored in crime. Ed, what are you doing over there? What? I, I, I think I might have a plan. The first thing you got to do, remember, you got to push this one of these down so it's nice and finished at the bottom. And as in any piece of architecture, architecture, texture? architecture. So you're doing architecture, but I, I listened to what he said about foundation. So my foundation is a big one. Look, then I'm going to make a variety thing, a variety pack put some brass and make sure it fits in there. Then I'll put another red one to, to uh, sort of capture the red, to capture the red there. I'll put it this way. Capture the red like in Stratego. <laughs> and then I'll put another brass piece to capture this one. How about that one, eh? Eh? Uh. Mm. All right, that's it. It's, it. This red's gonna pick up my Tiffany lampshade. Now I'm gonna have to start schlumping this down the central shaft, but of course, first, I've gotta capture this with a little brass fitting, such as this, and then I'll be able to start fishing my wire down. That and sometimes course, hurts when you fish. The fishing the wire. You can get cut. Goodness, I've resisted that brute's advances for another night. There's nothing he can do to get me to submit. Nothing. All that resistance has made me feel quite faint and peckish. All right, hold still, you two. All right, there's a switch. No light bulb in yet. And there, I think I've probably made a lamp not quite as ugly as the previous two, perhaps. And it's time to bless same. And of course, Luke, John Locke is coming in his empirical walker. 
went to college. All that's left is to put my harp on. And here's a little one for today, because the big one was too big. That's all you do to snap it on, and then you pull these little things down, whatever the hell they may be. And then the next thing, well, what shade shall I choose? Well, probably the only one I have. And as you can see, the red picks up the red. And design-wise, we've done as many other designers have done before us. Started big, worked up gracefully, so that it, it goes up to the sky, so that it offers its beauty to God. I'm gonna shoot myself. We gotta put a little plate here to uh, make a steady platform for our shade. I look underneath, come on, get in there. And the last thing we do is put on the finial, or the finial, which is the final thing to put on. Now that's a nice lamp. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, Joe, what about you? Oh, I'm graining over here, and it's graining on, grating on me. Let me tell you, I got different colors, look, see? Remember Ritter Tangy? Looks like the uh, takeout box in the drive-in movie. Well, I'm even marbleizing the pizza box here. Now I'm putting in some dark colors. See, I got some veins in here. And we got to dry, pull this up here. Just like that there, down here. You know, a lot of the black marks, especially in yellow marble, are iron spots. They iron spots. Let's make a, I put it in here, a dark core, just like me. Got a dark core. That's what they used to tend notes home to my mother. He has a dark core. He watches too many of those universal horror films. <laughs> That's what happens to you in Catholic he, school. It's not weak in math. He, he thinks he's Frankenstein. He has his soul is diseased. <laughs> <laughs> a little slow on English lit and his soul is diseased. Now look, look, right over here, we'll go with some white. Right on the side. The mighty white. There we go. And with the badger, hi, hi, ha, ha. There we go. That's all we need. That looks pretty. What do you think? Huh? I think huh? not one of your nuns has their own. What do you think? Own, huh? Not one of your nuns has their own TV show, I can tell you that. No, and I'm waiting for one of them to write me a letter. Okay. Got a paint in here. See this? Rings here. We're going around the paint. I had to go up to the second floor, see? Step up there, it's a, it's a paint can. You gotta improvise when you're doing this stuff. And you paint, I'm using this so I can put my hand on, see? Because out here there's nothing. So in here, if the lamp doesn't move, and it is a wobbly lamp, you know, weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. That lamp's gonna fall down. Now you have to turn it. You gotta come back to the first floor. Turn it around this way. Up to the second floor. And this gives you that decorative quality that you see in real marble. See that? Isn't that pretty? Now once you get done there, if you look down on the bottom. You've done this too much. Look on the bottom. And I got the wider brush now. I just Why the brush? Just finish this off here. Because it works. And this is Japan colors. Now, once these dry, I let these dry for a couple of days. Sure. In the studio, one and a half hours. I let it dry, and then I'll spray it with lacquer, just from a can. Spray it two, three coats, and then you can sand it down lightly. Remember when you spray the lacquer, sand between coats, then tack rag and apply another coat. Light coats, not a heavy coat, it'll drip. And then when you get your four or five coats on or whatever, and it looks nice and shiny, you can buff it out with some 4-0 steel wool and wax it, and it'll look just like marble. Joe, can you come here and help me, please? Oh, yeah. Do I have to help you? Nah, but just come over here anyway. Really? Because my hands are all... Oh, I well, can't just touch. stand there. I couldn't go back over this here. This is, uh, you remember what Donna Reed wore in uh, From Here to Eternity. She was a wahini, which is Hawaiian for puton. And she belonged to Montgomery Clift, who in real life wouldn't have known what to do with her. But that's another story for another time. I'm using a hot glue gun to do fringe to make this ugly lampshade even uglier. The hot glue gun, the tiny little bead. 
end it there, smush it back. I'll cut this piece off just a little long. And then, just like doing gimp, I'll fold it back under so as not to get a frayed end. And I'll just lay this part down in there, down in there, down in there. It's done. God bless. Look at that Look watch, at that. boy. It's five minutes to Lon Chaney Sr., the original Phantom of the Opera. Yeah, if he knew what Weber did. He'd be turning over in his grave. Well, do, isn't that the reaction everybody has? <laughs> anyway, we got the lamps finished. Here's the lamp that I marbleized, the yellow marble. Let's see the before. Here's the before. Look at that. And the stunning after. Well, it's different anyway. Well, you can see from the base, it's all nice and neat and clean and coming up there. And I cleaned the jewels. See the jewels? They had... They had to have dirty jewels. They had paint on them, so I had to clean the jewels off. And the In shade, a sitz bath, no doubt. I got the finial that's supposed to... The Albert finial that's supposed to go on here. It doesn't fit. So we'll have to it's, go back to Frankie and get it. It's, a, it's an Oliver Reed, I think, now. Let's, and over here, we oh, have the fabulous Erzatz Tiffany lamp. That's it Erzatz, used to be in paces. In the paces. Before, here's the before. Yes. In pieces. Look at this. And, and the after. I oh, like a nice pause. I liked it better on the before. Oh, but you could carry it in a box. Hey, you and you know, we got to go back to Frankie now. You know what the best part about Frankie Char's place? What? It ain't that other guy's lamp <laughs> store. That's great. Never going to go back there From now on, we go again. back to Frankie. Frankie, your people. I he's like He's got him. a classy right, joint. Let's, let's go. go. Here he's we go come, Frankie. Hey, man, you got bad dandruff today. Delivering in the snow thank, is so wonderful. Thank goodness we changed back into our original clothes. Well, you have, these are our delivery clothes. Yeah. Hey, hey Frank. Frank. Hey, Ed, how are you? What Joe, do you think? How are you? Nice yellow Joe, marble. it looks fabulous. Like what it. a nice marbleizing job. Hey, what about mines? What a nice marbleizing job, Joe. Oh, See, so even you can marbleize as long as you got the time and the patience. And maybe you could do a better job, but maybe somebody will like it. Anyway, until next time, I'm Ed Feldberg. And, and I'm Joe Lorario. That's exactly what I've been looking for. And remember, be nice to your furniture and your lights.